Hey, what's up, Dr. Lee? Sprouted pumpkin seeds. Now, pumpkin seeds are actually a traditional uh, food uh, snack, actually, in Spain. Papitas. And these are sprouted, and I'm going to show you Here's what they look like. I'm going to try one. Mmm. Really good. Mm, yummy, yummy. In this video, we'll learn from Dr. William Lee, a renowned expert in the field of nutrition and health. Dr. William Lee is a physician, author, and researcher who has dedicated his career to understanding the connection between diet and health. He's particularly known for his groundbreaking work on stem cells and the role of food in activating and supporting these vital cells. Welcome back to the Longevity D Process channel. In this video, we'll dive into the world of pumpkin seeds and their incredible potential for supporting stem cell function. Dr. Lee will share his insights on the bioactive compounds found in pumpkin seeds and how they can contribute to overall health and well-being. Let's listen to the doctor tell us about stem cells and how foods can stimulate stem cells growth. Our stem cells, by the way, um, uh, you may not know this, but all of us have about 75 uh, million stem cells that are in our bodies at any given time. And we're actually made of the stem cells because when, when we were in our mom's wombs, the only reason our bodies were able to even form a human figure, like, you know, the little Play-Doh that <laughs> forms humans in the womb is is because of stem cells and we retain some of those after we're born and we lock them up in our bone marrow and in our skin and elsewhere and our bodies regenerate continuously that's one of our health defense systems because you know you know as we age we need to repair ourselves from the inside out like we know um, our hair regrows for most people we know that um even our gut our, our mucous membranes are our, our, our uh, this sort of skin in our mouth we grow anybody who's ever you know um had a really hot uh something a hot piece of food and you burn your mouth and you're like man like it it totally s screws you up next day you're back to normal because your your skin and your mouth your mucous membrane regenerated okay it's like eating a dorito and you scrape the top of your mouth next day you'll be fine because of regeneration um but it's, what's amazing is that our organs regenerate from the inside out if i took your liver and we cut off two-thirds of your liver and left one third left it would regenerate the rest of the two thirds. So just like a starfish would regenerate an arm. Um, of, of your lung, if I cut off the tip of your lung, um, it would grow right back. And what we're starting to realize is that the, the playbook of human biology is being, is being rewritten because when you and I were kids, I'm sure our grade school teachers taught us the same thing. Starfish and salamanders regenerate, but people don't. Wrong, people regenerate. And so now we can actually try to coax this regeneration to go faster. It's one of our defense systems, but, um, and, and while biotech people are trying to figure out ways to make us regenerate, foods can also cause us to prompt regeneration as well, which is really cool. Um, foods like chocolate, foods like dark cacao, ca like dark chocolate, cacao, uh, polyphenols can actually stimulate regeneration. Um, uh, uh, there's all kinds of other, uh, 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 biotech kind of things that can actually do this, but Mother Nature has laced um, things that can be regenerative, like ursolic acid and fruit peel can coax our stem cells to come out of our um, bone marrows to, to stimulate regeneration as well. I mean, imagine a future in which we understood how to match the, uh, the substance in a food that naturally occurs with something that we need, like brain regeneration for dementia, for example. That would really be a game changer. And so that's where the future of understanding our body's hardwired self defenses for regeneration goes. I'm not afraid of flying. I love to fly. Um, oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Here, we find Dr. Lee flying to the Mediterranean about to eat a healthy salad bowl. Wait till the end when he talks quickly about pumpkin seeds and stem cells. Hey, Dr. Willie here. I am actually on a trip to the Mediterranean, and I'm in an airplane, obviously. And um, I want to show you that you can actually find healthy food while you're flying on an airplane. Look at what I got on my meal. This is actually a strawberry salad with pumpkin seeds, a little feta cheese, and some greens. Now, what's in strawberry? 
strawberries. Strawberries have ellagic acid, good for um, your circulation, your angiogenesis um, uh, defense system, and also good for your metabolism. Strawberry actually fights harmful body fat. Um, pumpkin seeds actually have a bioactive that helps your stem cells. Dr. William Lee emphasizes the benefits of several bioactive compounds found in pumpkin seeds for boosting stem cells and overall health. Among these, omega-3 fatty acids, particularly alpha-linolenic acid, offer anti-inflammatory properties that support stem cell health. Magnesium, another essential mineral in pumpkin seeds, plays a vital role in regulating muscle and nerve function, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure, while also maintaining healthy stem cell activity. Zinc, abundant in pumpkin seeds, is crucial for immune function and stem cell health, helping to protect cells from oxidative damage and supporting the body's natural repair mechanisms. Vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant in pumpkin seeds, safeguards stem cells from oxidative stress, which can impair their ability to regenerate. Vitosterols, also present in pumpkin seeds, contribute to reducing cholesterol levels and may have anti-inflammatory effects, promoting a healthier environment for stem cells. Additionally, L-tryptophan, an amino acid found in pumpkin seeds, aids in the production of serotonin, enhancing sleep and overall well-being, which indirectly supports stem cell health by reducing stress and inflammation. These bioactive compounds make pumpkin seeds a potent food for supporting stem cells and overall health, and Dr. Lee frequently highlights the importance of incorporating such nutrient-dense foods into one's diet for their extensive benefits. In addition to supporting stem cells, pumpkin seeds have numerous other benefits, which the doctor will now describe some. Good source of dietary fiber. You've got polyunsaturated fatty acids, which is good for the microbiome. Um, so is the fiber. But what's really interesting is there was a study done with almost 4,000 people showing that um, those people, those women eating pumpkin seeds, actually had a lower risk of breast cancer by about 34%. That's brilliant. Pumpkin seeds are packed with nutrients that support overall health, particularly in relation to stem cells. They contain antioxidants, which protect cells from damage and may enhance stem cell function. Essential fatty acids in pumpkin seeds are crucial for maintaining healthy cell membranes and can influence various biological processes, including stem cell activity. Zinc, a trace mineral found in pumpkin seeds, plays a key role in cell growth and development, particularly in stem cell differentiation. Additionally, magnesium, another important nutrient in pumpkin seeds, is involved in numerous cellular processes that support overall health and stem cell function. Here are some delicious stem cell boosting recipes that feature pumpkin seeds. This is my First, try a pumpkin seed and spinach salad, which combines spinach, feta cheese, red onion, and cucumber, topped with crunchy pumpkin seeds and drizzled with balsamic vinaigrette healthy organic snacks for a tasty dip whip up pumpkin seed hummus by blending chickpeas tahini lemon juice olive oil and garlic in a food processor add pumpkin seeds and process until smooth seasoning with paprika before serving with sourdough bread or vegetables that's my own special recipe oh. another option is a pumpkin seed and quinoa bowl where you can combine cooked quinoa roasted vegetables like broccoli carrots and sweet potatoes with avocado lemon juice and olive oil then sprinkle with pumpkin seeds for added texture and flavor would you care for a snack for a healthy snack, bake some pumpkin seed granola by mixing rolled oats, nuts such as almonds or walnuts, honey, maple syrup, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and cinnamon, and baking until golden brown. Snack time! <laughs> Lastly, warm up with a comforting pumpkin seed and lentil soup by sauteing onion, carrot, and celery, then adding lentils, vegetable broth, and garlic. Simmer until the lentils are tender, then stir in pumpkin seeds and spinach, seasoning to taste. Yummy, yum. When preparing these recipes, consider the following key points for boosting stem cell health. Incorporate a variety of nutritious foods into your diet to maximize benefits.
Aim for a balanced diet that includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Choose cooking methods that preserve nutrients such as roasting, steaming, or grilling. And most importantly, select recipes that you enjoy and that fit your lifestyle to ensure long-term adherence. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the stem cell diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.